Hi, this is Malay and welcome to my channel. In today's video, let's take a look at the Outlook Actions in Power Automate Desktop. Now, Outlook Actions uses the Outlook client to work with email messages in your Outlook. It helps you to retrieve the email messages. It helps you to send the email message, process email messages, save email message on your desktop, and then respond to an Outlook message. Let's go ahead and work with that. First, let's drag and drop launch Outlook. This will not accept any parameters. It simply launches the Outlook client installed on your machine. Click on save. The Outlook instance will be stored into this variable. Then let's go ahead and use retrieve email messages from the Outlook. It will take the Outlook instance that it just opened in the previous action. Then we also need to specify the account. So I'm going to specify my account because my email is actually configured in the Outlook client. If you would like to retrieve a specific folder emails, then you can specify that. I will be working only in the inbox. So I'll keep that. Now, if I flip over to my mailbox, you see that there are many emails from Microsoft Power Automate, Microsoft Security, Adel, and I also have many hundred messages. So I have 17 hundred messages. And then overall, I also have many other emails. So let us see first, let's go and get the hundred email messages only. And after that, when we retrieve those hundred messages, do you want to mark them as red? In that case, you can actually turn this on with this. It will then mark them as red. Read the body as HTML. You can turn this on to keep all the formatting as it is. You can turn this off to just get the text content without the HTML from content. So if you would like to go with the different filters, you can use it. So for example, even within the 100 messages, if you are only wanting to get an email from Microsoft security, as an example, it could very well be the person you have to specify that in the you know, from contains so you can specify the email address of that person to contains if you are getting an email messages from let's say the sent items then you can also filter it through to contains you can put that email address body contains if you're looking for an email that has or if you're looking for an emails that has a specific word or a sentence in the body you can put all these different filters see you also have a subject contains so these contains allows you to filter your email messages to retrieve attachments do not save the attachments you can also go for saving the attachments if you go for saving the attachments you can then specify the directory in which the attachments will be stored will be saved for now let me go with the do not save attachments then all these emails will be stored into the retrieved emails i'm okay with that let's click on save let me close my outlook window let's click on run it will launch the instance it has launched and now it has gone ahead and started retrieving the messages so it will take a bit of a time it will retrieve 1700 messages and then it will stop let's wait for that to complete it has opened up this instance and it has also retrieved so let's open that so list of Outlook email messages and you can see it's 0 to 16. We had 1700 messages, which is now also red because we had kept that toggle button on. So now it is red and we were able to retrieve the messages. If you click on more, you get all the details like there were attachments or no. Was there anybody in BCC? What's the body? CC, date, subject to every information that we can get for every single email. You can then loop through each of the email if you would like to retrieve a specific property of every email. Now let us take a look at send email message through Outlook. Let's drag and drop this. Let's go ahead and first delete this action. We already have seen that. We still need to keep launch Outlook as is. Well, actually we should have also used close Outlook. We forgot. That is a good practice to close the Outlook instance. Once the job is done, it will automatically pick up the same instance. So we should just keep it as it is. So it will open and then close the Outlook. Click on save. 
Now let's go ahead and send an email through the Outlook. Let's drag and drop it between these two actions. The Outlook instance would of course remain same. The account, that's the account that I want to use. Send email message from an account or another mailbox. If you have the permission to send on behalf of the mailbox, you can do that. I'll continue with the account. Two, so let me go ahead and send an email to Adele. So let me specify her email address. You can also get the email address from a variable. If you would like to CC somebody, you can add that. Let me have Alex in the CC. The subject is subject is test email from RPA. And let's put the body as this is a test email from the Power Automate desktop. You can also have a email body stored in the variable. And if your email body has the HTML content, you can actually turn this on. So for now, let me go ahead and make some font bold. So let's just say that regards is in bold, put this in the italic. System administrator would be in the italic. So idea is just to show you out of possible to put an HTML content into the body. And if you have any attachments, you can also go ahead and add the file. So let me go and grab some files. I'll pick up the word document and click on save. So let's go ahead and close the instance. Let's hit run. Let's wait for launch outlook to launch the outlook. It is launched, it is now sending an email through the Outlook and now it is also closing the instance. So it has closed the Outlook as well. So let's go and check the email for Adele. And you can see that we have an email from my side. Alex is also in CC, countries is attached and we can see this is also in bold and this is in the italic. So you can send an email using the Outlook action. And let us retrieve the email messages one more time. And this time, let's go for retrieve all the email messages, but let's go for from contains. If the email has come from power automate no reply at microsoft.com, these are the emails that I would like to retrieve from all the email messages. So then I will have all these emails from the power automate no reply into the retrieved emails. Now let's go ahead, mail folder cannot be empty, that is correct because we did not specify that I'm looking for inbox. Let's specify that, click on save and then go ahead and process the email messages. Now if you will see, we have a variable of the retrieved emails. That's what now we need to specify here. I'll configure my account. I'll put my account here. Move email messages to a mail folder. Now if I open my Outlook, I have a folder called Power Automate. Currently it is empty. I would like to move all the Microsoft Power Automate emails to this folder. That's the objective. So let's go and configure that Power Automate folder. Power Automate, that is the main folder. You can also delete the messages and you can make them as unread. So these are two other operations available. I'm gonna keep it like this, click on save. Let's click on run. And let's wait for this to complete. So it has started launching the Outlook, started retrieving all the email messages. It will also do the filtering. It is gone and it is completed. Let's go and check the retrieved emails. Yes, it did retrieve the emails. And then let's look at the, so if you see, we don't have any Power Automate emails now. It should have been moved to the Power Automate and we can see they all are moved to the Microsoft Power Automate. Okay. So that is how you can use process email messages in Outlook. Now let's go ahead and delete this action. Let's go and save the Outlook email messages. The instance would remain same. The account would be mine. I'll keep this account email messages to save. So I'm going to go ahead and go for a retrieved emails saving. I would like to save all those messages with the MSG format, Unicode MSG extension. You can also go for a different you know, file. I'll keep it as it is. The file name, I want to keep the same file name and save email messages to a specific folder. 
So I will be specifying the path which is C drive PAD saved emails. Emails will be saved under this path. Click on save. Now before that we need to make some change here because all of the other flows have already been moved. So let's go and pick up the other email filter. So instead of from contains power automate no reply. So if we have got an email from MS security no reply then we would like to store or save all of them into the specified path. Click on save. Let's click run and let's wait for that to process and complete and then we will take a look at the C drive PAD saved file. So it's opening the instance, it's retrieving the emails, filtering with our condition, it's getting, getting, getting. It is got, now it's saving and it is closing the Outlook instance. Let's open the folder and let's see whether it is saved. So all of this email are now saved in the saved email folder. You can also go ahead and respond to a specific Outlook message. So let's go ahead and delete this. Now let's take a look at the respond to Outlook action. Now for that, first we need to retrieve an email or emails that we would like to respond to. So we have a retrieve email messages actions already in place. Let's go and edit that. I will be changing to look for emails in not in the inbox but instead I will go and say that look for a power automate folder within that let's say I have these many emails and I have one email which says something went wrong with the approval request so I'm looking for this emails where it says something went wrong so I will say where subject contains something went wrong and I would like to reply those emails so we'll be replying that I will remove this from contains filter filter will only be based on subject click on save and then let's use respond to outlook however before that we need a for each loop here so for that let's go and get the for each loop drag and drop for each loop values to iterate it's going to be the retrieved email and instead of current item, I will call it current email. That's more relevant. Click on save. Now then we have this. Let's go and get our Outlook actions back. And let's use respond to Outlook message. Now you see we already have current email set as the email message because that's what we want to work on. We want to reply we want to reply all or we want to forward that email so we have three options available and then again a body so you can put your response in this so this is a response from power automate desktop team we are looking into this issue and will keep you posted with an update that's the message that we want to reply an account obviously I'm going to put my account so let's put an account here if you have any attachments you can again go ahead and add the attachments so this should be fine we just have one email but if we have multiple emails which we have got as a part of retrieve email messages then obviously it will go ahead and iterate every email and then will reply so let's go and hit run so let it launch Outlook, it will retrieve the email messages. Okay, it's now responding and it has now closed the Outlook. So it has actually gone ahead and responded that message. So let us go ahead and look for a sent item. Now, if you've seen, we have the sent item here, which says this is a response from the Power Automate desktop team. It has sent an email to the sender, of course. We are looking into this issue and we'll keep you posted with that update. Sorry for the typo here, but you get the idea. Okay, so that is how you can actually use the response to an Outlook message. Just one thing to note here, when you are using a response to Outlook, don't immediately close the Outlook. You need to add some wait action because it may not be able to send it and it tries to close the outlook so you may get a prompt that whether you would like to send it later or you want to 
exit the outlook so just make sure that you add some delay give outlook an opportunity to send an email and then close the outlook so these are the outlook actions in power automate desktop i thank you so much for watching the video